Okay, I'm going to introduce our uh, manual addition valve or MAV. The part could also be referred to as a gas addition uh, block, uh, which will become obvious after I talk through how this can be configured on both the oxygen side um, or the diluent side uh, in a mixed gas unit, but we'll save that for a subsequent video. <clears throat> Uh, so the part uh, is uh, one piece, uh, very nicely machined Delrin. Uh, it incorporates a BC style cartridge valve for manual addition. Um, that is the outlet port for the valve, indicated by the, uh, the MAV arrow. And then uh, there are four common ports. Uh, so one, two, three, and four, which make this portion of the block uh, a manifold for gas distribution. And again, we'll touch on that in a subsequent video, uh, how to best make use of, of those ports. Uh, there are a couple of nice features that we incorporated. One is that we don't drill and tap the 3 ace 24 uh, standard low pressure hose fitting directly into the block. Uh, I found that that thread can be a little delicate to work with in plastic, uh, so it's easy to strip or cross thread or spin out over time and, and use and abuse. So instead we use a chrome plated brass bushing, which is then uh, tapped for the 3 is 24 low pressure fitting. Uh, so from there, you can affix any number of adapters or check valves or sliders. Uh, and configure the block accordingly. For the cartridge itself, uh, again, just a standard BC style cartridge. Uh, when used in a BC, typically the gas will uh, enter the valve through the small hole and then leave into the BC hose when the button's pushed and the seat uh, raises up there. Uh, in our manual addition valve configuration, we do the opposite. So we have gas pressure uh, against the seat, uh, and then that gas is allowed to enter when the valve's opened and then exit through that small port. So there's a couple advantages to doing that, mostly that in addition to the spring pressure uh, holding the valve closed and seated, we also have gas pressure helping with that seat. So in the event, uh, this valve were to fail, which again from using a BC for years and years, we know that it doesn't happen often uh, But they can uh, they can leak often. It's just a small trickle of a leak uh, So instead of uh, Allowing that leak to leak either oxygen or diluent into our rebreather um, We have the added benefit of pressure seating that valve very securely so it adds a adds a level of um, adds a low level of insurance that this valve will not fail open, which could be uh, quite undesirable if it happened at the wrong time or in the wrong place. So we have a reverse, uh, reverse seated BC valve in our block, four common ports to manifold uh, our gas on either side, again, which we'll review in a future video. And that's our part.